Hello there Waltz players! Today I'm gonna show you how to automate a fusion reactor. This is Winston Smith and yeah, welcome to my little tutorial. So let's get started. You will need uh, for sure a fish, uh, fusion reactor like this. Uh, don't quote me on this construction, it's just an instant builder. Um, that's not the theme of this tutorial, you just need any kind of fusion reactor. You will need a basic, um, at least a basic ME system like that and furthermore you will need an electric pump, two water buckets, three basic exports, three basic imports, three chemical extractors, two leathers, two ME dark cables, some pipes and some normal cables. Okay, so let's get started. Um, Okay, first we're gonna take the chemical extractors. So, so the basic theory, uh, okay, should go for the pump first, I admit, is that the chemical extractor, right, we'll see, we have to, the chemical extractor in this case needs water. So let's make a water source and place the pump. Oh, we have to provide it with energy, 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 energy. I will make it uh, the quick way. Nope. So energy. Okay. As you can see, the pump is pumping the water, so pipes, we need the pipes, cables, pipes. Okay. So you wanna have one space, uh, one block in between those chemical extractors. I place three of them, because in my experience three of them are enough to constantly run uh, fusion reactor. So now we have a look at the chemical extractors. If they are placed right the water will be filled in here. So next thing we also need energy. Now they got energy. Okay. So let's just test it. with this empty cells. You will need empty cells for this process. Empty cells are crafted like... oh, not like that. <laughs> uh, I will show you how you craft empty cells. It's quite uh, easy, you just need uh, tin and glass, but you will need a lot of tin. So make sure you can provide a lot of tin. So one, four tin ingots and one glass block gives us 16 empty cells. Okay, that's quite good. Put them all in your ME system and you see 672 empty cells. Okay, for demonstration, let's just take one out of here, put the empty cell in here and the arrow is moving so this empty cell is getting filled. The, the, ba the basic theory about that is uh, the Ethereum is heavy water and heavy water is inside normal water and it has to be extracted. <coughs> so okay, we have our the Ethereum cell now. Uh, we just get rid of some of the stuff here. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, um, so we need to export our cells, our empty cells, into the chemical extractor. This is done if you do export buses on the top of them. So you have to configure them on empty cell. Mm, 
like this or this or shift click it uh, also we have to suck out the deuterium cells deuterium I hope I spelled that right and this is done by if you are on, on the front of the chemical extractor, extractor by the right hand side okay so this is quite looking good now we take our ME cables connect these make sure you have every uh, import and export connected so now we're gonna make our first little trick um, if you don't want them to constantly use your empty cells or whatever then you can make a dark cable in here because the ME dark cable only is active when it has an active redstone signal so with this lever we can switch this on and off and as you can see as soon as I switched it on this one over here started to work why yeah this too but sometimes you have to right click them that you actually can see that they are working so this seems to be totally fine and <coughs> you can always sw switch it off it will just proceed with the amount that it has inside so that's the first thing as you can see already our deuterium cells are increasing so that's the first thing automating the chemical extractors next thing will is very easy you just oh, need a precision export I use a precision one you will ha have to go to your fusion reactor go and whatever <laughs> go there and shift right click the export precision export bus on the reactor like that okay then right click and configure it to empty cells if you do it like redstone mode always active and move single items uh, it will only export exactly one stack of deuterium cells so add the cables the ME cables you will need a lot of them <laughs> Mostly it's a lot of them because the fusion reactors normally are quite big. So, and again we will use this little dark cable trick. Again, the dark cables are only active when they have a redstone signal which is on. What the heck? Okay. Over here, this is not nice, but it's functional. Just for showing you. Okay. So, uh, at the moment, this cable here is dark. Uh, at the moment, also, we are not importing the deuterium because it's switched off. Well, we will switch it on, and as you can see, it's constantly increasing. So we have a good amount of deuterium cells at the moment. Yeah. Okay. And um, that's that's it. That's pretty much it. Okay. Um, I don't know how to explain that much further. Again, you have the pump. The water is be pumped into the chemical extractors. They are making empty cells into deuterium cells, which are exported by the export bus. They are imported by this import bus here into the ME system and here we have our deuterium cells. Now we are exporting those cells through the ME cable into the fusion reactor and let's see what's happened. Oh, it instantly started to work. And we'll have a look here, it's constantly increasing the the Ethereum up to one stack. And as you can see the turbines are start spinning so this seems right. Okay. Well I hope 